time for us to start learning how to catch our own fish. But for that, we're gonna need a spear gun. Spear fishing is an awesome way to enjoy the ocean, to live off the land, to further enhance our freediving experience, and to ensure that we're sustainably consuming the fish we eat. But for this, we're gonna need a spear gun and some gear. If you're starting out and learning the sport, there's no need to go all in and buy the most expensive gear. There's a lot more simple and affordable options available. The gear that is right for you is really a question of what you are looking to catch. As you're starting out, the answer to that would most likely be small to medium good catching fish. And the gear is accordingly quite simple. The two most common types of spear guns on the market are open heads and inverted rollers. And keeping things really simple, if you're starting out and you're not looking to catch the big fish, an open head is likely going to be the gun for you. The main advantage of starting out with an open head like this one here, for an intermediate and beginner diver, is their price. They're far more affordable. The design is also much simpler to use, making them perfect for those looking to learn the sport. The inverted roller, on the other hand, are designed for those Spiros who are looking to level up, catch the bigger game fish and take the sport to the next level. They do cost more, but they have the advantage of greater power, greater accuracy and zero to no recoil at the handle. The next question we need to ask ourselves is how long do we want our spear gun to be? And how does the length affect how we hunt? Typically, spear guns come in lengths from around the 55 centimeter mark, like this one, up to 130 centimeters. The smaller spear guns around the 55 to 80 centimeter mark are really designed for hunting the smaller fish that live around the rocks, headlands, under cracks, or in small caves, as the small guns allow you greater maneuverability in these tighter spaces. What we sacrifice for this maneuverability, however, is power, purely as there's less room along the barrel for the rubber to stretch. If you're looking for a bit of an all-rounder to target medium-sized fish, such as the kingfish, and still want some of that maneuverability, you want to look at a barrel size around the 90 centimeter to 110 centimeter mark. This is the most common balance for beginners and to intermediate spearos. If you're looking to hunt those larger species and you need that extra power, you're gonna to need to look for a spear gun in the 120 to 130 centimeter mark. These lengths are used in those deep blue environments where you don't need as much maneuverability and you can kick yourself out for as much power as you can. Starting out, however, a safe bet for that all-rounder spear gun to get you going is a barrel length of around 90 to 110 centimeters. Now, we're not going to get into too much detail right now on spear gun bands and the optimal rubber length and stretch as this is a bit of a rabbit hole for those more experienced spearos. But very simply, the thicker your diameter and the shorter and less elastic your spear gun rubber is, and the more rubbers you have, the harder it is to load, but the more power you will get out of your shaft. Starting out, it's best not to make things too difficult for yourself. The final thing we need to touch on is the shaft. Shafts come in a range of sizes from around 6mm thick to 8.5mm, and increase in price accordingly. Again, keeping things simple as we're starting out, generally the larger fish, the larger shaft. A shaft around 6mm to start out is more than sufficient. Now we've built our perfect beginner to intermediate all-rounder, we need to learn how to use it. 